the Devlin Radio Show. Midday, Saturday and Sunday. Only on News Talk ZB. What we learned from another weekend of sport. The Warriors can attack and score tries. After last week where the effort was lauded but the inventiveness lacked, Saturday's win over Canberra is rightly being called one of the club's best ever. An emotional roller coaster of a game. One in the last seconds by an amazing match-saving tackle from skipper RTS. Yes, it's only one game of an intensely competitive comp, but the greatest points come back in the team's history will have the Warriors faithful smiling all week. Super Rugby Aotearoa is now a race for second place. We all expect the Crusaders to win their fifth title in a row, but who they will play in the final isn't nearly as obvious now, with the other four teams all looking capable of upsetting each other. Saturday night's match in Hamilton proved it doesn't have to be a great game to be a great spectacle. The thrilling finish more than making up for an awful error-ridden first half. And repeat this next bit out loud. The Chiefs are on a winning streak. It's true. Last time that happened, I think it was called Super 18. The Black Caps need better opponents. As the summer of cricket fizzles out, playing a totally underwhelming Bangladesh side, fans can't help but be left wondering, why aren't we playing the real big boys? Our team is excellent right now, and the players need the overlords at New Zealand Cricket to put together a much more competitive schedule for next summer and beyond. Pakistan, West Indies and Bangladesh have been easy beats. Bring on England, South Africa, India and the Aussies, because that's the level that the Black Caps belong at. And finally, I hope the NRL delivers on its plan to strip Jared Hayne of his Daily M medals. They should go even further, in my opinion, and permanently erase his name from the game. Hayne, who is appealing his conviction for serious sexual assault, is both a predator and a coward. Even now, he refuses to own up to his vile crimes. But rather than waste another breath on his callousness and cowardice, I'd rather acknowledge the bravery and the courage of the woman who fought to take him to court. His conviction and impending jail time, hopefully, at least giving her some feeling of justice earned. The Devlin Radio Show. Midday, Saturday and Sunday. Only on News Talk ZB.